Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now let's get in there like a swimwear, all right? I have to remind people that I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a WhatsApp bandit floating through the comments trying to solicit you to another site. My readings are closed. When and if I do decide to open up, if I'm guided to, I will announce it, okay? Um, also, this reading may resonate past, present, or future. Take what's for you, leave the rest. This could be somebody in your energy, uh, someone you know, someone you may not know, a cousin, an aunt, a past over loved one, okay, a grandparent, a child. You get the gist, all right? Out the gate, we have four cups in reverse. Somebody, I'm hearing somebody wants to come out of isolation, okay? This person may have a new outlook on life, okay? This could be you. This could be somebody coming towards you, but there's a new opportunity here for someone. I feel like this person has been holding on to you or holding on to some past, yeah, holding on to some past stagnant energy. This person may have a little fear or regret or they did in the past, Okay, some of you, you're mirroring each other. There's a cup of love, something that is overflowing, being gifted to you by the divine here. Okay, some of you may have a chalice or something, a special glass or something that you drink out of. I'm also seeing something on somebody's altar, similar to my incense holder. Okay, we have the Empress. All right, divine feminine energy. All right, so somebody sees you on your throne. They want to offer you something. This is after this person is coming out of some sort of isolation. Um, you know, they have a new outlook on life. All right. So in the past, this person was avoiding taking responsibility. Okay. With the seven of swords here, this person, um, they were deceptive about something. Let's see. Somebody may have gotten caught in a lie here. This person, the deception may have been this person um, didn't offer you a cup when they had a chance to. This person possibly focused on work or you are focusing on work here. With the eight of coins, this person may want to work with you. For some of you, you can meet somebody at work. All right. With the seven of cups, yeah, you have a lot of options. I feel like this person may have uh, in the past made you an option. With the tower being in here reversed, what is this saying to you? <laughs> we have the magician. You're manifesting something new here, okay? Or this person wants to manifest something new with you. I feel like they held back a lot, okay? This person may have been going through a bout of depression with the eight of cups here. Yeah, uh, I feel like they were in some sort of commitment. They could also want, yeah, they, they feel like they missed out on an opportunity with the Ten of Coins being here. Okay, some of you, you may be with your divine partner or you could be getting married. For some of you, this is not your twin. This is a higher level soulmate that's coming towards you. So this person was deceptive in the past and now they're regretting it. They treated you like an option. All right. Let's see what's going on here. I feel like this this person, I was going to say M-O-F-O, <laughs> I don't know why that came out, but I, um, I feel like um, outside of depression here, this person was trying to avoid something, possibly avoid you, avoid telling some sort of truth, and that may be what the de um, deception was for some of you, okay? I feel like this person was being oppressed in whatever situation they were in, okay? They may have had a fear of commitment. I keep hearing isolation. For some of you, somebody could be getting out of jail. This could be spiritual jail or physical jail, okay? Uh, this could also be a marriage for somebody. Why is the Four of Cups reversed? Yeah. Somebody was trying to avoid a disaster and end up creating one because they didn't speak some sort of truth. Okay, so... 
somebody has a fear of commitment, okay, or fear of true love. They may have feared you. For some of you, you could be like master manifester, ma master manifestors, okay, well, overcoming adversity. They could have had some sort of addiction or somebody had an addiction that they were dealing with, okay? This person didn't know which way to go is what I'm hearing. Overcoming adversity. They may have gotten themselves stuck in like some, uh, like a, I'm hearing a commitment to like a job or something like that. Okay. So it says the impossible is often the untried. Embrace the journey. Okay. So yeah, you had to go about this on, on your own. I feel like you may have even reached out to this person. Some of you, you meet on the 5D. I'm hearing 9D as well. But yeah. So this person didn't want to be flexible, okay? So you had to uh, balance your masculine and feminine energy. Some of you, you know, you, you take a lot of spiritual baths, okay? You may smoke a little bit or whatever. But whatever you did, uh, you were able to release something here. Why is be flexible here? Yeah, I feel like you had to surrender. Be flexible. Yeah, you surrender. For some of you, it was an addiction. It could have been addiction to people, places, or things. Okay, somebody was easily tempted. Okay, oh, some of you may you may have gotten into a fight, or this person got into a fight. Somebody could be on the run here. I feel like this person wants to fight for you. For some of you, okay, so somebody could be taking a trip towards you. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, so some of you, you're in your 50s, okay, or something may happy, but happen by the time you are in your 50s. For some of you, this could be your parents, okay? For some of you, uh, I keep saying that, um, you may have had interference from someone older. This person may have also been dealing with the older woman, or you could be an older man, take it how it resonates, okay? So this person is sending you telepathic messages. This person is psychic, okay? They, I feel like they... They ice you out in the 3D here, but there's love here. This person may be focusing on their finances or you are. Okay, so yeah, they had somebody that was interfering. Okay, so somebody's trying to block off communication. You could also be having a karmic trying to manipulate your energy. This person may be wanting to come towards you and fight. Some of you, you could have gotten into a fight with somebody. A new phase of life, mindset, career, direction, upgrade. Okay, so you beat some you beat this adversity, right? Some of you you tapped into your psychic abilities. Some of you you do candle manifestations or you're just a natural psychic. So we have last chance. I feel like this person was giving this person, whoever this is, they were in a commitment with, they kept going back and forth. Okay. This person had um I heard demon possessions, okay? This person, if this is not actual spell work, witchcraft, boo, uh, bitchcraft, who do, who do, whatever, this person worship money, okay? They may do a lot of uh, tantric sex or something like that, all right? So I feel like this person was stalking you, okay? Somebody could have been... I'm hearing using God's name in vain or something like this. This is like a... Uh, shit, I don't know why I heard terrorists. This person could have terrorized you. All right, so this person is currently in a portal of hell. They, they're, they're going through hell. Whoever this karmic is, somebody felt like they made an offer to the wrong person. This person may have been uh, gang stalking you or something like that for street cred. For some of you, this could actually be somebody like a child or something that uh, isn't involved in the game. Person didn't have faith in a situation. I'm hearing somebody may even be wanted by a gang. Somebody could be running from a gang. I feel like whoever this karmic is, whether if it's male or female, this person is definitely gang stalking you. They may have bad mouthed you. Yeah. They, they, they bad mouth you to the community or something like that. I mean, somebody got jumped as well. This was a toxic connection for somebody. Why is the Empress here, please? Somebody wanted to be a wife. This could be a child's mother. Mm. So somebody's obsessed with you, okay, or this is a child's mother or mother figure that has some sort of incubus attachment. This person may have tried to do some sort of ritual on you. Why is the incubus here? For some of you, you may have met someone at the store or going towards the store or something like that. 
purposely given the wrong info, false reading, birth date, or spying. Okay, so somebody could have got a reading on you and they could have said that you were a demon worshiper or you were demon possessed or something like that. But some of you, this person may have given your uh, birth date or they was appearing to be you. Purposely given the wrong info. Yeah. So this is a tarot reader here. So somebody knew the truth that you were an empress, that you sat on the throne here. But this person, I feel like they was envious and jealous of you. 444 could be significant. Some of you are working hard. You have your back tor turned towards a lot of people. But they see you as competition here. Okay, for some of you, you could be a reader or they got a reading on you. You could be a Capricorn. This person could be a Capricorn again, or they have like a lot of addictions. This person could be obsessed with your energy. I did a reading a while back. It said that um, possibly a year ago that this person was so used uh, to playing around in your energy, they forgot it was not theirs. Okay, so this could be somebody that's stealing your work or trying to mimic you. Hello world. Yeah, you completed a cycle. So this person could no longer read you. Okay, for some of you, I did a reading also where it talked about somebody passed away tapping into someone's energy. This could be you or someone that you know. 222 could be significant. 333. Somebody was not grateful of the gifts that God gave them. Some of you, this person or you were dealing with the opportunists, okay, with the tower in reverse. They was trying to avoid some sort of truth coming out. Okay, yeah, I feel like this person tried to set somebody up like fighting to, to get them to go to jail or something. Okay, so what needs to go so you can move forward halfway through a difficult time? So three months ago, somebody was trying to avoid the truth coming out. Remember, this is a timeless reading. Okay, yeah, look, arrested. Bad fortune, you encounter something evil, but you were protected. Okay, so somebody was trying to send some sort of disaster towards this emperor or a business owner. A business owner could have actually went to jail. And I, I feel like this person may have uh, initiated a fight on, you know, purposely to get this person to go to jail. Somebody ended up arrested. Yeah, we got the flying monkeys. Okay, so this person like raged, waged war on you. Okay, I'm hearing secret competition. Okay, so I feel like this may have been a side piece or someone that this emperor or possibly you were working with. Uh, somebody that they met when they left out of a committed relationship. For some of you, the side piece and somebody that they were committed to uh, got into a fight. For um, You could have also got into a fight with somebody that they met on the rebound here. They set this person up to go to jail. We got 777. A lot of number synchronicities. You may be seeing all of that. It's time to dig deeper. There's a spiritual partnership you are overlooking. Yeah, so this is reinforcing what I said. Okay, so the deception was uh, this person didn't speak some sort of some sort of truth here. There was some sort of illusion that was being presented towards you or 444. Your hard work is paying off. You are manifesting your dream life. So this person sees you sitting on the throne, okay? It's undeniable that you are this empress or this emperor here, okay? So now they feel like they missed out on the opportunity. Why is the Eight of Pentacles? For some of you, you work with this person or you did or they want to work with you. So uh, there could be karmics in your life or this person's life. Okay, that are similar. You could have similar birth charts or this person keeps repeating um, cycles because they're not learning the lesson. The North could be, I'm hearing Northern Star. The North could be significant, okay? Some of you, you are in your North Node. Some of you, your North Node may, uh, may match whoever this person is. I'm also here moving up north here. So somebody could have moved away from somebody that was karmic. This person is depressed now. Whoever this karmic is, they're watching you. They're watching you work after holding back. Okay, they could have been getting readings on you. They was purposely giving, giving the reader the wrong information. For some of you, this reader could be a Capricorn. Or this, this reader just reads for anybody. They take money from anybody. 
I'm hearing this person is surfing some sort of karma behind that. So, yeah, this person held back the fact that they loved you here. They may have had like a, a shut up spell or something like that. So that was the illusion here. They treated you like an option. Now they regret it. They went to somebody. Um, if they were going back and forth, like if this is a Knight of Wands type of energy, they were going back and forth. Um, I'm hearing through multiple people. We got the Gator Croc. We got a major achievement here, okay? So somebody that they met in uh, the office, somebody could be a politician. So they was running back and forth between somebody, you and somebody that they work with. A boat could be significant, a camper, a trailer, or something like that. Somebody could also drive a forklift, okay? I'm also hearing big rig. Just do it. So yeah, they they... They didn't, for some of you, they could have a business with somebody that they started sleeping with or somebody that they hired here. Okay, so yeah, this person could have invested in, in this person's business. Okay, so they kept going back and forth between you. I'm hearing the baby mother. So for, for some of you, this person was dealing with three people. Something can happen in the winter months. Okay, this person seeing you as a gift. For some of you, they bought you a gift and never gave it to you or something like that. I'm hearing a ring. We got the altar, Ariel, Aries, prosperity. So somebody does altar work. So they see, they gain some kind of benefit from whatever it is that you do for work here. Okay, or they were working with somebody that was doing spells. Release bad habits, stressful situation, and negative thinking. So I feel like their money was blocked off because they had a lot of karma, okay? Or they were attached to somebody that was very karmic here. Somebody that wouldn't, uh, I'm here to go bananas for the day. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Law of unity, collective consciousness. So this person was uh, investing in somebody that, I heard this this person has a, like a nervous problem. You may have a nerve, a nerves problem, or you feel nervous when you talk to this person, or they feel that way about you. Why is the seven of staffs here, please? Yeah, <laughs> somebody had to retreat. They some something failed here. They may have tried to do like a quick money scheme or something. And something failed here. Okay, this person is envious because you're able to manifest. You, you sit on the throne here. You have a higher calling. Compensation. Compensation expectations. Yeah. So this thing. So. Commission. An instruction was given. Okay. So somebody was called. Somebody was hired here to throw some obstacles in your way. Okay, possibly to get somebody to move away from you. Okay, or they wanted your business to fail or something like that. Somebody lacks confidence here. They possibly did some like confidence spell or something like they, they wanted you not to be confident or something like that. This person was... <clears throat> Somebody was dishonest in the situation. We have a protection tool may be needed. What is your partner or experience trying to teach you? So somebody was paid here to have someone set up or somebody may even put a gun in somebody's car. It's because this person didn't want to deal with them. Like, this person is up to anything. I feel like somebody wanted to get married or they were married. Okay, they could have been trying to do this to a public figure. Hey, 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 you've learned a lot on your journey. Abundance. Okay, so some of you could be writers. Um, this person was taking notes here. They were, they, it's like a love hate thing. This person is envious of whoever this is that sits. Oh, this is a magician. I don't know why I kept saying Hierophant. Yeah, they, they're mad at the way that you manifest here. It's like you don't need any extra tools. Like, you don't need to be deceptive. You don't need to do like bend people's will. 
And this person is depressed because they spent a lot of time, money, and energy, and somebody still moved away. You still got away. Yeah, you still got away. This person didn't know that you was an elect one. So somebody's facing judgment with the day of affliction. This person is trying to wonder how you do what you do here. But whatever it is you do is your is, is something that you were made to do. Why is the magician here? Yeah, I feel like you focus on yourself and this person is focusing on you. Love is stronger than hate. So you operate at a higher vibration than this person. This person has a lot of trauma. Uh, okay. Um, they may have wanted you to invest time in like a lower level soulmate or something like somebody could be a Gemini. Yeah. Okay, so it could be a couple here. Some somebody's ex. Somebody keeps like trying to put themselves somewhere where they're not wanted here. So why is pretend it's a plan here? So they they did they hired somebody. Okay. Somebody may be trying to come towards you here. They could be, they could be, again, you could use the laws of attraction here. This is confusing here. The trauma bond and lower level soulmate. Okay, so they have somebody that, like a flying monkey, somebody that they can't get rid of. For some of you, the deception deception is this person won't speak some speak a truth here. This person has love for you. But they have somebody that they need to get rid of. I'm hearing multiple people. Yeah, somebody's stalking you. For some of you, it's not a couple. It's, it's a male and a female. And this is both happening to you and your divine counterpart. All right, so... So somebody was pretending like they didn't know who you were. But they slipped up and said something, okay? But they always exposed themselves... So, they may have been hiding the fact that they was energy harvesting or using candle magic or something like that, but you vibrate higher than whatever spell works, sorcery, or whatever they were trying to use here. Slipped up and said something. What is this? Something could have happened in Gemini season. I'm getting past energy, but it could be future. So they let this person go. But this person may be trying to manifest whoever this person that wants you. Okay. If you don't want nobody, then that's fine. You ain't got to take nobody or this ain't your reading. Okay. But somebody is in karmic energy because they have a karmic, um, somebody that they're trying to get rid of that, that just won't stop. This person could be watching you are watching them at work. For some of you, this person works with this person. Anything else? Damn, that's a lot. Bizarre event, situation, or environment. Yeah, that's the rabbit hole card, okay? So, yeah, this somebody keeps having unexplainable events happen to them it's because somebody's doing spell work somebody that they slept with they may even be trying to get this person to sleep with them again yeah but they don't want nothing to do with them this is this is something like this is somebody that learned a lesson this person is focusing on you but they keep doing spell work here this is an energy vampire they want they want to tempt this person they want this person to have sex But they love you. So, yeah. <laughs> Wait for me. It came out sideways. So somebody's greedy. They see this person as a burden. They wish they would have never got involved with them. They, they felt like they bit the bait. For some of you, this person may have even went to jail because I've seen the jail card. Anything else? <laughs> you guess no more zaddy dick <laughs> and on that note yeah lost a fight so they was they was in secret competition with you for some of you they may have even like two karmics could have fought over whoever this person is and they don't want anything to do with neither one of these people somebody could be on the run with the thief outlaw 
you could be getting a message from this person because they got set up, got into a fight or something like that. Somebody could have health issues from spell work backfiring. Wandering aimlessly focused on the mundane aspects of life, the calm before the storm. Another synchronicity. You could be seeing 111. Angels are supporting you as you move forward. Yeah, this person doesn't want nothing to do with um, all these different people. Now, if you choose to take them back, that's on you. But there is love for you here. This person may have not known what love was, okay? So I hope this gave you some clarity. Deuces.